Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave and I have taken to a ladder. I'm a little bit higher off the ground right now than usual and it's because today's one day build has to do with this guy. This is my Norris head, um, an amazing eBay find uh, from about 10 years ago or give or take. Uh, this is one of the monsters from John Carpenter's masterpiece, The Thing. And The Thing is one of my all-time favorite movies. I just have almost no qualifiers for it. It's, it's, it's a perfect movie. Kurt Russell's character, uh, McCready, is so good. Uh, everybody in the movie is amazing. Uh, and there's some great history about why the movie is so terrific. Um, I, it is my favorite of all of John Carpenter's films. And you knew it wouldn't end here. If I'm loving a franchise, the love is going to go deep. Uh, and that's where we're going today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start with this. Yeah, I know. For the uninitiated, this hat is ridiculous. But this is uh, a, a pretty exact replica of Kurt Russell's hat from The Thing. It is a nearly perfect replica. It's pretty darn close. The hat structure itself. There are some other details that aren't correct, and we are going to make them correct today. That's today's one-day build. We're going to do an accurate McCready hat. A lot of hats pass in and out of my life. I get hats in the mail. I go buy hats for cheap on eBay. I find a deal. I become obsessed with a certain kind of hat. My wife is very encouraging. She's very encouraging. When I get something that I love in the mail, she wants to be encouraging about it. When she <laughs> watched me put this hat on, I watched her do all this math in her head. Is he gonna wear that out in public? Does he know that that makes him look Kind of insane. That hat is ludicrous. I'm gonna wear it everywhere, baby! <laughs> it was very enjoyable. I explained, this is part of a costume. And she's like, what costume? And I said, Kurt Russell's character from The Thing. And she said, what a lot of people say is, why would the hero of a movie wear this ridiculous hat? And that is the thing. That is one of the aspects of the thing that I love. This hat is such a, it's such an anti-hero, hero hat. And Russell in the film looks ridiculous a portion of the time. And I really dig that. There's an aspect to it where it's like he's rejecting the like the the perfect specimen model of action hero for the I'm just a guy trying to do what I can kind of model, which is, let's be clear, the best model. That is all the storytelling around the hat. Let's talk about the hat itself. Now, I will admit that this journey came up because I interviewed Ernie Klein as part of the marketing for um, Ready Player Two. And Ernie and I share a lot of mutual friends uh, and many mutual interests. He owns not one but two DeLoreans uh, fixed up to look like uh, uh, Doc and Marty's uh, DeLoreans from Back to the Future. Um, he is uh, as much of a movie lover as anybody I have ever met, and he was talking about a McCready costume, and I was like, did you find the hat? And he said, yeah, I found the hat. And he turned me on to the last best cowboy hat from the last best, hold on, last best West, Com we last best West Company. Um, and I looked up their hat. Sure enough, it was the right kind of hat. I bought it. It's not cheap. We'll include a link below. It's a few hundred dollars, to be clear. Um, and it's a lovely piece. It's, um, it's nice and robust. It has a very good shape. It's a little too perfect. That's my one issue about hats sometimes is like, so this one, McCready's hat has four folds in it. There's the front fold, then there's the side folds, and then there's this back fold. And I've actually already done a little bit of work on this hat. Um, to give you an idea of how it arrived, it arrived looking like these two side folds, which are are very, um, they're very mathematical. And look, this is, here's a company, they make hats, they make one called the McCready and they, they crimp it like the McCready. And I'm not, I wanna make, I wanna make it perfectly clear. Boy, do I need a haircut, I'm just gonna put this on. I wanna make it perfectly clear, I am not denigrating their hat at all. I just think these folds are a little neat. Uh, and over time, when you wore a hat, uh, it would get softer and softer and those folds would get a little less uh, less neat. And for me, the storytelling needs more beating up of this hat. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of steaming 
And then there's the issue of the, there's, okay, let's see. There's the steaming. So steaming is to get the front fold and the back fold correct and the side folds to be a little less regular. See that straight line? That's the kind of thing that like I try and eliminate when I can. Um, also uh, in the screenshots I've been looking at, the front is like a little more like this. So I'm gonna add a few more bends to it. I am going to replace these gold grommets with um, aged bronze ones that are more the color of the hat. But the big shift, well, the big shift is coming in a minute. I'm not even gonna talk about it just yet. Let's get to some steaming uh, and then we'll get to the rest of it. I try not to fall on the excuse that I thought I was pressing record, but I thought I was pressing record. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm attempting to just remove what look like straight edges, just lines that are overly, Oh, okay. I've actually got an interesting issue here. I've done a little thing here like this, and I don't know if, I don't know which of these angles is correct. So hold on. Let's call up my reference material. Um, if the hat looks like it's a little bit big for me, it is because it's meant to fit with other parts of the costume. McCready's wearing a blue sweat shirt much of the time that's over his head. So I made, I stretched the hat big enough to accommodate that. All right, let's look up here at McCready. Let's see. Oh, actually, yeah, it's less. It's less than that, so. But it is a little bit. There we go. I like that. That's definitely more along the lines. And then over here. So this is really subtle. Here, this moon comes down and creates a sharp edge, and here it's more accurate to the movie. There's a little bit of a, little bit of a, a relief here on the edge. So I'm going to get the same thing over here. Uh, one of the things that happens with the steamer is that the steam water builds up in the tube, and I'm unwilling to shorten the tube because I'm unwilling to change the parameters of the steamer. But it just means that I'll you'll hear it like coughing a little bit. Okay, so which one is the right one? Okay, that's the right one. You, you need interesting eyes for doing this kind of research because you're, you're looking for stuff that happened on camera, but you're also looking for like the, your character moving in the background sometimes. All right, let's see here. Is this? That's kind of the same. Yeah, I think my bends here are too high. Okay, I'm gonna undo the bends. I will say like when I'm doing my finer hats, I'm going a little bit slower. This hat is already beat up in the film and it's a heavy duty, like thick felt. So I'm being a little bit more sort of cavalier about the movement of this felt and the steam than I would be for like one of my Raiders hats, let's just say. I mean, part of this is that in my irregularities that I'll end up with trying to get this thing all squared up, I'm gonna end up with exactly the hat that I want. So it's like, try to go through the motions and see how close you can get. Okay, so this is the front and it looks like the front is, yeah, all right. Let's just see, how do I like the Yep, 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 that front looks good. It looks, we'll go just a tiny bit smaller. It, in many shots, you can see the crown of McCready's head above the front brim of his hat. And here, it just, uh, actually it might be, well, I'm just gonna reduce its height just the tiniest bit. Better, 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 better. That feels just that little bit. Feels more like McCready in the pictures. I'm looking at the photo I've got and I'm I'm really liking this bowl up here matching this and this little curve here matches that. That looks great to me. This also looks good. Um, so we're gonna try and do the other half and I feel like we're getting there with the shade. 
the felt this hat is made of. Uh, I, we'll include links below uh, and the color because uh, it matters. This guy's made a great hat. It's, it's wonderful when you're cosplaying and somebody makes exactly the thing that you need and it is exactly the quality that you want. All right, let's get the same thing going there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get a little bit of more of a twist there. Yeah, let's see here. Sit back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, yes, reader. I found the correct pair of Vornay sunglasses and purchased them. These are the McCready sunglasses. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See that? Yeah. Right? Right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I look at that and I look at that and I'm like, yeah, I'm like pretty pleased about that. I, I can't see very well in these, but I can see well enough. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Kurt. Okay. I feel like the shape is something that I am happy with. It looks... I don't see any lines that are too straight that draw my eye. Uh, these draw my eye. Let's get rid of them. I know, you're probably doing some math in your head wondering what other builds might be part of this costume, and the answer is yes. There will be some other builds that are part of this costume. I just, I just don't wanna see these. They're just too bright to me. They're just too bright, so. I've got these antique antique bronze ones. I think those are actually left over from my Hellboy Mecha hand build. Um, but we're gonna get rid of these. Let's see. Should have worked. Hey, it worked! Beautiful. Okay, another aspect of the hat um, is that as sent, uh, it arrived with a leather lanyard that went through these holes to allow you to, sorry, to have the hat on and to put it behind you, right? So this is the leather lanyard. Um, and this is a really lovely piece of leather. It's not correct to the film. Um, the film leather is a wider strip of much softer leather. And I had some and I cut this out of, um, I may end up replacing this with something just a tiny bit heavier, but this is really close. This is really close. So this will be my new piece of leather. Let's get this going. So here we go, there's that. And they're tied like in a knot like here, right? Like, okay, so yeah, it goes to like there. So we'll tie our knot, give or take. Okay, yeah, right there. Sort of equidistant between the, this part and this part of me. <laughs> Uh, and it sits exactly where it should. It's exactly where it should sit. Totally. Uh, and you can put it back on. Okay, we are boiling along on the hat. However, there is something that when I was looking into the McCready hat, and I looked at one of the photos of the hat close up, it had what looked to me like a kind of a, actually, do I? Yeah, there it is. It had to, what it looked like to me, a hat band made out of this kind of medium brown leather uh, that like 
Yeah, that color there, I, that's the color I feel like I can see. So I feel like this is a great color reference for the hat band. And I thought that there, it looked to me like there was a braided hat band um, on the, on McCready's hat, like some sort of special leather braiding. So I took a screenshot as McCready is walking over to the helicopter, because that's one of the places in the film you can see the clearest shot of the hat from the side. And when I zoomed in, I don't know if it's visible here, but what I understood was that's not a leather braiding pattern. That's a beaded hat band. That's a beaded hat band. So I worked with an Etsy seller to replicate this beading pattern. And I gave some guidance and we're, we're including a link to her wonderful store below, a link to what she is now calling the McCready hat band. I had one run in one inch thick and three quarter inch thick, three quarter inch turns out to be the size. And here is the pattern. This, this is far more correct than anything I've yet seen of McCready's hat band and this so what will happen is there is a strip of leather that goes under this that's like twice as wide, like inch and a half. And then this rides around the middle of the hat. And again, I'm not sure if it's really clear in this photo, but there is this one spot at which it wraps around and that's it. It's a strip of leather, a little bit of a dip and a wrap on one side, which would be the left side. Um, and then the hat band joins to itself. And uh, she even went and made the ends, which normally she makes out of black leather, out of brown leather to match my saddle brown. Um, and I mean, I know it's not a perfect match at all, but it's, it doesn't stand out and that's what I was hoping for. So, McCready hat band, it's time. I am going to be using for this, this, this is the right color, but it's not enough leather. That is a piece of veg tan rue hide. <laughs> that, that, we're not gonna use that. This is whip leather. This kangaroo leather, strongest leather in the world. Yeah, Can don't mess with kangaroos, man. They will F your S up. So I'm about to turn these two pieces of leather into one piece of leather. I have on my belt sander skived this leather until it is incredibly paper thin. Literally paper thin, probably four or five thou at that leading edge. And then I correspondingly created the same relief on a marrying piece of leather. And I'm gonna join these two with barge glue. The seam should be, it'll be visible, but it won't be noteworthy. I just don't want it to catch your eye, that's all. Um, belt sander is great for that. This is a skiving tool. Skiving is the term for thinning leather to, for thinning leather, I believe. And there are actual mechanical skivers one can purchase. I don't own one. Uh, so I have a hand skiver and actually my little belt sander works great for that. Uh, so let's get a little bit of barge glue on this equation. Join these two together in leather matrimony. <laughs> Not the first time that's been said in San Francisco. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, so then this goes like this. Oh, right, I want that underneath it, too. Yeah. Look at all that extra leather I have. That's great. 
Ain't nobody that can sing like me. Ain't nobody that can sing like me. All right, so I don't need, uh, this could just be a simple overlap joint, can it? Right, because, you know, the thing that goes around it. So I could just kind of cut this here, right? There's no reason I can't. And then this will go, God, that looks great. Just seriously, it looks terrific. I'm, I, well, I'm not gonna talk about that just yet. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be terrible for me to end up accidentally making a Mobius strip? <laughs> All right, let's try this. I am doing a little thwacky thwack. I normally, basing tape is actually kind of the perfect solution for this because it's, it's not a I don't need a lot of mechanical force on this hat band. I just need it to hold on tight and not, not move around. Uh, and this will get me exactly that. Uh, moreover, it is almost exactly the, it's just slightly shy of the width. So, make it nice and attached. Okay, so now there's this little tiny triangle of leather that I feel like is a kind of a closure hasp, but I'm going to play around with that. Here is the hat band. It's got this fold over that I can see in the photo, this little triangle keeper, which might be part of the, 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 the neck lanyard, I don't know. And this is stuck all the way around and it'll be much more positive. I know it's kind of moving around here on the top stick, uh, but once I get it on the hat, it'll move around a lot less. So let's, if that's true, let's do it. Let's put it on the hat. Put it in a little container. I'm using the tongue depressor to kind of help me coax the hat band down increment by increment rather than pushing on it. I've got to get it over the neck lanyard leather. Come on. Um, I am going over my hat band with a little bit of, um, of chalky white paint just to kind of kill, uh, maybe you can't even see the difference here, but I'm just trying to kill the vibrancy of the orange just a tiny bit over here. So I'm just spraying a little bit of the paint onto a tongue depressor, getting a little bit on my brush and just kind of going in and just aging down the the brightness of the orange. This is my, yeah, this is my Fuller's Earth uh, pounce bag. And you just get a little bit on your, All right, it's time to get dressed. Yeah. Um, I, uh, this blue, blue sweatshirt, I, I will include links for all of this stuff in the comments below, but this blue sweatshirt, uh, I've cut the arms off, so I'm not going to sweat crazy in this. Um, but let's get these Vornays on. Yeah. Yeah. And... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, right, so this, 
This sits tighter, doesn't it? Yeah. Hold on. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. McCree hat. Dude. Okay, I got to take a picture so I can see because I can't see. Dude. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, another one. Oh, look at all these things McCready has to deal with. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, the jacket that McCready wears is a Schatz, S-C-H-O-T-T-S. Um, I managed to find the exact correct Schatz jacket with the, with the, hold on. With the light fur interior, the dark fur collar, the epaulets, the whole schmageggy. Yeah, dude. Yeah. My hat is off to you. Thank you for joining me for this one day build. I had a pun last night that I thought of and then I forgot about it. You guys seem to like Buenos Notches so well. Sorry. Yeah, I forgot my joke. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this uh, one day build. McCready's hat. Um, in the links below uh, will be a link to the Etsy store of the wonderful uh, store that worked with me on this McCready. And they have this up on their Etsy store as the McCready hat band. So if you're working on a McCready costume, hopefully this is enough reference for you. And you know, normal take some photos of me in this. And like I said, there'll be a little more as we go. Yeah. Thank you guys. See you next time. I really dig how much that just like sits exactly as I was hoping.